Why does a pool seem to attract every bug known to man? Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about my Intex Ultra Frame Pool. I bought the 12 by 24 foot model. And let me just say, I am a pool naysayer. I didn't want a pool. The family had to talk me into this. And I had one previously. I had an Intex, Intex pool previously. And uh, we had a couple trees back here, and it just it collected everything, and I always always stuck cleaning it. But this one's a lot different. This this I have to admit, I'm glad they talked me into. First, I had to go through and level the ground, um, and that's what you see the gravel around here. Um, I use these deck timbers basically and built uh built everything up uh, this pool's been really good uh we've had it all summer uh, it stays clean it's pretty easy to clean um, the chemicals as you can see the water looks pretty good um, the chemicals are easy to keep i have uh basically just put a couple of chlorine tablets in it and um and i shock it uh, once every week once every couple of weeks uh, it depends on how much the swimming load is. Uh, it's been pretty good. Can't complain. As you can see, I didn't get things totally level. Um, I think I'm high on that corner back there. Otherwise, it's pretty good. And uh, I'll get to that in a second. But as you can tell, uh, we have a lot of accessories for it. But there's the pump and the sand filter. That's the one I got. That's pretty good. I have to backwash that every now and again more lately than recently um, anybody has any backwashing tips uh, leave a comment and let me know um, i'm not familiar with backwashing these uh, sand filters like this but i'm gonna i'm gonna learn about that as soon as i learn something i'll make a video but you can see right there is the um, chemical floater and that's what i put my chlorine tablets in uh, they're just kind of like hockey puck shapes, but you just but you just unscrew this, drop drop a couple in there, and, uh, and you can see those uh, fins at the bottom down there. That's where it comes out. Um, pool water is about 85 degrees right now or so. Pretty warm. Um, but what makes it even warmer is this solar blanket. This solar blanket is awesome. When we pull that up, it covers the whole thing. It's 12 by 24. We leave it on overnight. It holds all the heat in. Um, and then uh, you pull it off, and it's, it's nice and toasty warm for you. Now, the problem is, if you go away for a couple days, you leave your solar blanket on, sometimes your water is too hot. And the kids don't like it when it's too hot. But um, I made this uh, cover to hold, or cover, I made this uh, system to hold. The solar blanket because I didn't want it on the ground getting all messy and tromped on. Uh, it's just PVC pipes. I made a video about this just attached with zip ties if you want to check that out. But I would recommend this pool. Um, me as the pool naysayer, I really like it. Um, it's Sunday night. We just got done with a weekend full of swimming. Uh, you can't beat it. Uh, a couple of uh, uh, um, accessories you're really going to need is a what do they call that? The skimmer that hangs off the side. I did a video about installing that. Looks like it got bumped. I need to straighten that out. Um, the net piece, uh, that's kind of like a skimmer too, right? Except it's a manual skimmer. You dig that, dig bugs and things out of the water because, uh, you know, bugs love to get in the pool, just like us, I guess. But yeah, highly recommend it. It was easy to put together. There's a million videos on how to put these together. I'm not going to cover that. You can watch any one of those. Now, where I went wrong, um, I said I was high in this corner. Well, right here, I put a patio block under that support. On these other ones, I put these pieces of plywood to try to keep them from sinking in. And honestly, neither one of those worked. If I had to do it over again, I would probably put patio blocks all the way around. Um, I used a couple of fence boards on this one, but plywood on the rest of them. And uh, it's, uh, it just didn't work out. See how they're popping up back there? 
Uh, th that I would do over. I would do probably uh, go ahead and buy the 18 patio blocks or whatever it turns out to be. Um, but other than that, it's been great. Uh, just a couple of install mistakes. I can fix that on a drain and um, refill. I'll just go get patio blocks at that point. But it's worth it. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know how you if you got one and if you like yours or if you're thinking of buying one. Um, this would be the one to get. It's just a little over a thousand bucks, I think. And it's probably marked down now that, that we're in August. So, you know, maybe look for a deal on it. Oh, the one thing I don't like about this is this ladder. Uh, it's just kind of flimsy. It's real narrow. I don't even think my hips fit through there. I have to turn sideways to get in. But we're going to be getting a new ladder um, probably next year. We'll probably get one when the season is uh, closing out, maybe get a deal on one. Uh, but yeah, that's it, Intex Ultra Frame, 12 by 24, uh, highly recommended. Hey, that's all we have for this uh, video, guys. If you have a question, just leave a comment. I'll let you know my experience with this pool. Um, like I said, I like it. Uh, as a pool naysayer, it's, uh, it's been good. It's been good for the summer, a lot of fun in there with the kids. So. Uh, any questions about it, anything you think I didn't cover, uh, let me know. I'll answer uh, anything I've had to deal with. So that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching.